what are the next steps? You've looked at the overview, you like what you see, uh, you've taken a look at the extraction tool. The next step would be to request API access, and this is really programmatic access. Uh, you can sign up by giving us your full name, your email address, and the company that you work for, and then we'll send you an email that gives you the information that you need to then uh, access the API. Uh, the next step is to read our FAQs or to go over to the documentation. We have a handy link, handy link right there on the page. And I'm going to jump over and actually show you how to do some of this um, by looking at the list of all skills, uh, searching for a particular skill, and then also extracting those skills with the source, similar to what we saw with the front end web development. To do this, I'm using uh, Insomnia, which is a REST client. Um, it's really good, it's fairly simple and straightforward to use, and I'll walk you through how that's, how that's being used here. So the first step, you've, you've gotten your credentials, uh, you've signed up for the access, and you, you've gotten the email that says, here's your username and your password. And what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna come into Insomnia, and you'll wanna start with this OAuth 2 credentials. You want to make sure that you're using client credentials as your grant type. Here's the access token URL right there. You'll use your client ID and your and your client secret and then you'll want to make sure that you have the scope of MZ open. Uh, you'll refresh the token that will generate a new token for you and then once you run that query using the latest skills available this will get you a list of those nearly 30,000 skills uh, from the MZ database. And this is roughly 2.2 megs in size, but it's still pretty quick to download. Similarly, if you want to jump over to the search skills here, um, the same query that I did was for Python. I came over here to this query and I used that Q word, that Q keyword of Python, and this automatically searched our database for references to Python in there. And the last step was the extracting the skills. And in this case, we have this endpoint. Once again, we're using the latest version available, the extraction, and we've got this trace equals true, which tells us what, what the reference is to the original text that we're sending over. So I have here this full stack web developer from Emzy, the same job posting that I had before. And if I send this request, what I'll see is that I get something like web development and a confidence score of 0.428. And if we jump down specifically to front end, we can see all of the context behind that front end software engineering. We can see where that text was found in the original document, where it started and where it ended, as well as what the confidence was right here. So we get the front end software engineering skill, we get the ID and we get the confidence scoring based off of the context around the, the keyword front end. So with that, uh, that's all. Uh, that's all. I hope that you go in and you sign up for Access, and that this has been really helpful for getting an idea of of how to use the MZ API. Um, if you have any questions, we have this FAQ section as well as the documentation, the API documentation, and you can always reach out to us via this Get in Touch uh, link here under Questions on the API Access page.